PDPD, how do you not let your past failures and missed opportunities influence your vibration? It starts with the reality of who you are in this moment, truly. I think if you can get to that, if you can get to that in the way that you see yourself, and if you can get to that in the way that you feel about yourself, it's so much stronger than anything that has come before. It's not necessarily a matter of not letting something happen. It is the matter of taking action steps on your part to live in the reality of who it is that you truly are. To live in the frequency of this and therefore to consume, meaning take in, to read, to study, to see, or to go out of your way to see yourself as you are so that this is reflected in the thinking now so that it's reflected in the thinking now and also to feel yourself as that that's where the work is and, and i do call it work because sometimes that's not instance instant sometimes it is and sometimes it comes in the form of a healing that takes place where your eyes are open and you realize it and you're like aha i am that i am and i feel that and i think that and that right there begins to undo any of these lesser lower vibrational beliefs because the light shines into the darkness and the darkness cannot overcome it. And when you are embodying light, which is the true realization of your divine self, amen. When you're embodying this, meaning it's in your body, it's in your frequency, it's in your thinking. When you got that, the light is shining into the darkness of all the false beliefs and all the patterns and everything that came before, and the darkness cannot overcome it. The darkness cannot even compete with this. So sometimes that comes with healing, and sometimes that comes with epiphanies. Saul on the road to Damascus, boom, he gets it, right? But a lot of us have to actually very intentionally work with our conscious and our awareness to take in this realization of ourselves and to feel it and to feel it. So PD, PD, you are all gods. PD, PD, and everybody. The kingdom of heaven exists within you. Everybody. God created you in God's image, and you are a reflection of this creator. And you are tethered to this creator. You are part of this creator, an emanation of this creator, and you are called to create. Don't you see how powerful you are? Don't you feel that? Even, even if you feel it a little, and you don't even know why you feel it. It doesn't matter because see, the body bears witness to truth every time. The body rises up to truth every time. And if you feel it, it's because it's true. And that's the feeling that we want to hook into. That's the feeling that we want to grow. And so intentionally surround yourself with things that feed your soul and your mind. Intentionally read books like the one we read today and the ones we will continue to read throughout the year intentionally feed yourself vibration and frequency and intentionally put yourself into high vibrational experiences why because it's light and if it's light it's going to shine into the darkness inside of you and that's not a judgment we all have it we all have it but when i put myself in a high vibration experience or condition, that light shines into all the spaces inside of me. And the darkness, the darkness is unsettled and is expressed out of me. And so I do that intentionally. What does that mean? A high vibrational space or place? Well, whatever makes you feel love, my friend, whatever makes you feel joy, whatever makes you feel loved, Creative. Creative comes from creator. When you're creating something, you're with the creator. That's light. And so do that more <laughs> and feed yourself more, feed your soul more and feel that. Open yourself up to that. Embody that. If you can hold it for any amount of time, trust me when I say you dislodge all the lower stuff. 
You dislodge all the lower stuff. That's how you do not let your past failures define your present understanding of yourself because you intentionally put yourself into the truth of who it is that you are. And that's why you're here right now. And that's why we're talking about this right now, because we all need to be doing this, even me, even me. And you'll find it's so funny, truly, it's it, it, as, as in it's so odd. How that thing that you worried over and tortured yourself over, that belief of, of self that for years has kept you down, is remarkably gone one day. Because you allowed, in whatever way works for you, the light to come in. And the light knows how to do what the light knows how to do. Amen? That's where we say the subconscious, in a way known only unto herself, makes it so. We don't have to know why the light knows how to do what the light knows how to do. But because I am the light and I put myself in experiences and conditions of light and love, I notice one week from now that I'm no longer tortured about that pattern or that thing. And I have a new understanding of myself. It just effortlessly goes away. It yields truly to the light. The Enlightened Entrepreneur is a live online eight-week course specifically designed to teach heart-led practitioners how to launch, establish, and scale their own highly successful spiritual businesses. If you're longing to really step into your purpose and reach the next level in your work and in your life, please consider joining us so you can turn your gifts and your talents into a powerful service that you can sell.